everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you guys subscribe that way you can be notified when I upload future videos today I have this new Mac collection a nutcracker compact I'm so excited to be bringing this compact to you guys because it has the whisper of guilt highlighter in this and if you guys don't know what whisper of guilt is it is a cult favorite amongst millions okay maybe I'm exaggerating or maybe I'm not but when I tell you everyone goes nuts for whisper of guilt it sold out so quickly and it was supposed to launch on the 20th it actually launched on the 19th of October so yeah it, it sold out so fast so I decided to just show you guys some great dupes when I tell you exact dupes in case you can't get your hands on this so if you want to see my thoughts and how this highlighter applies and if you want to see swatches of everything then just keep on watching Okay, so MAC came out with a full collection of holiday products and I love makeup but I'm not exactly a makeup collector. I only buy makeup that I'm going to actually use and that are unique to my actual makeup collection that I have now. So I have so much makeup that I'm really picky. The actual um, package that it comes in is really cute. It looks exactly like the compact. It says it's, a nut it's called the Nutcracker Sweet Copper Face Compact. So it has an extra dimension skin finish and it also has an extra dimension blush in the compact. So inside it looks the same as it does on the outside and you open it up and voila it has a mirror. It's not the best mirror but it is a mirror so hey what, what can you do. And this is the blush and this is Whisper of Guilt like yeah. Now, Whisper of Guilt, when I first looked at it, I'm like, uh, this is nothing special, especially because this highlighter came out years and years ago, so so many companies have since duped this actual highlighter, so it's not really as special as it was when it first came out. So, um, just initially swatching it is very, very smooth, and it also has like a wet look on the skin. You guys will see that in the video, like it has a really wet looking look to the skin, so... I'm just going to swatch the highlighter and I'm going to actually swatch the blush too. The blush is a really pretty color, something that I would buy, so I'm really happy that they included it. I thought it was like a win-win because I don't have a blush this color and I have a highlights this color, but who wouldn't buy Whisper of Guilt if they got the chance? Like, come on. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I definitely think it's worth the price. I paid about $34 for it and it was free shipping. So uh, yeah, you get a blush and a highlight for $34. That's not bad at all. I would highly, highly recommend you guys picking it up if you can. So now I'm going to actually just move on to the comparison um, highlighters. First, I'm going to swatch the Whisper of Guilt. And I really like the way it looks on the skin. It's very pretty, but it's not that unique. I will show you guys exactly what I mean. So let me just wipe off everything else. So this is Whisper of Guilt. Why did I go so high? I'm the worst swatcher. Okay, so that's Whisper of Guilt. And this right here is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duel 02. So I'm gonna take the highlight and I'm gonna swatch it right next to Whisper of Guilt. You got and I'm gonna come up close so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I know I'm kind of far. And this is um, Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. So I'm gonna swatch that. And, and then I'm going to swatch this Mally Beauty Peach Highlighter Duo. I'm gonna swatch the highlight. All right, so this is, these are what the swatches look like. Okay, I would say the one that's closest in shade in person is the Mally Beauty one, but the one with the most smooth formula like Whisper of Guilt is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. So if I were you guys, if you don't care for the bronzer, I would recommend either the Laura Geller or the Mally Beauty, but it's really up to you. So 
there you go I really really love the way the makeup forever one looks it's the most similar to this one because it gives you the wet look so it's the most similar to whisper of guilt another makeup item I kind of want to swatch side by side in case you guys can get your hands on it this is the Becca cosmetics champagne split and this is amaretto and prosecco pop I think this is a similar idea to the Mac compact so let me kind of just show you guys they're not like dupes or anything but they're very similar in a way like they're both golden you see and I'm gonna kind of swatch the two yeah so they're actually very similar Prosecco Pop in Amaretto and this is the new Mac well, as you can see, Whisper of Guilt is more really intense, and this one's a more of a soft, softer gold. The MAC Holiday Collection is coming to a store near you really soon, so I definitely recommend you guys following the page, Trend Mood one on Instagram. That's the account that pretty much kept me and up on game on everything and all the new releases in makeup, just period. So definitely follow that account. I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested. And yeah, comment down below what you guys think of this highlighter, if you're going to pick it up, and if you like any of the dupes more just let me know thank you guys so much for watching please follow me on my social media sites at crystal underscore carmen on snapchat and instagram please thumbs up this video it helps my channel so much do not forget to subscribe i love you all so very much and as always until next time peace